Hello Church, we're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 3 today for our daily Bible reading. Word of the day is confidence. It is said people are always looking for someone who's confident, looking for even self-confidence. Well, what does the Bible have to say about that? The Bible definitely wants us to be confident and to have confidence, but what is our confidence based on? So let's read verse 5. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God. If you recall from yesterday's reading in chapter 2, Paul talks about the fact in verse 17 that he was commissioned by God. Right? The reason for everything in Paul's life was God. He was caused by God to have a relationship with him. He was serving with a mission and purpose because of God. And so he can have confidence. Once again, not that it's any sufficiency in himself, but sufficiency based on God and his relationship and his standing with Christ. If we drop down to verse 12, it says this, Since we have such a hope, we are very bold. And then it goes on to compare kind of Moses and the shining glory. You can read about that in the book of Exodus. Um, once again, that's another reading for another time. But do you have confidence? Once again, not in maybe your own abilities, but in your relationship with God. Can you be bold because God is on your side? Do you have confidence to share Christ with the people? Do you have confidence to go against the grain, to go against society, to go against um, popular thought or opinion if it is in contrast to what the Bible has to say? I think this is one of the things that helped the church grow early on. If we read the book of Acts and we see what the church did, Peter, James, um, John, Paul, as they were speaking and preaching in and around Jerusalem, people saw their confidence, their boldness. Now, before Christ had died and rose again, they were scared. They were afraid. But now, because of seeing the resurrected Christ, being filled with the Holy Spirit, they have confidence and boldness to proclaim the truth of God's message. May we be a church that has confidence, not in ourselves, but in God. And let us be bold and loving in our pronouncement of Him as the King of kings and Lord of lords. All right, church, have a great day.